All right, today we're going to be looking at vector displacement. Vector displacement, unlike normal displacement, covers all x, y, and z. So if you look at this, for example, and I look at it as a top-down using viewport filters and screen distance, we have black and white values, okay? But what about underneath this rock? Okay, what value is that? Well, that's where vector displacement comes in. So if I had these two rocks touching and there's this crevice in between, uh, now that gets represent represented as a map. So I can calculate for that. Now there is um, kind of a curse. Uh, the curse states that it must be made out of the same topology as the first item. So in this case I have this you know plane and I, scr uh, I just scribbled some rocks out and if I go all the way down in levels they slowly melt away alright now what I want to do is broadcast this onto another plane because that way the topology is a lot better so to do that what we're going to do is going to create mesh plane and then I just have to rename a thing here so here's plane one we're going to call this low and we're going to call this one high now this is a great way to create a stamp this is the most sought after stamp because basically what I can do is make this as a sculptable brush and you can do all kinds of crazy detail with it alright now what we first need to do is go into uh, extract texture maps and go to new operation we use vector displacement and here's my target model so my target model is going to be the low so I highlight it and I'll add selected and my source model, the high resolution, is going to be my high. Add that one. We need to generate um, one map for all targets. I like using this a little bit bigger. I'm going to choose 4096. I'll lower it down, but I like keeping it high and lowering it in another program. Or just the idea of pretty soon, someday, there might be a 4096 level so I'll, I'll show you what that is we can always create two 14096 11024 okay now NAL is off I'm going to turn that on to 8x hey might as well um, here we am going to choose base texture we'll call these super rocks and I'll put in 4096 so the 4096 one is going to be a TIFF and I'll go ahead and extract it now I'm also going to make a 1024 and that one's going to be called an I think an EXR Now before we go looking at that, what I'm going to do is just go right back into this. New operation. Vector displacement. And I'll add my high. And I'll add my low. Choose 1024 and a alias of 8x. And texture. This time I'm going to be using the EXR format. 
and we'll call this one on the desktop super rocks and take off the period tiff So the EXR really does run better as a brush, and the other one kind of as, as a stamp. Or, one, one's a stamp and one's a stencil, I'm sorry. Alright, new scene. Go to plane. And then we'll go over here to add a stamp. Desktop. Perfect. And then we'll grab our sculpt brush, duplicate or add some resolution to this by hitting Shift D. Back that down one. Okay. Then uh, go over here to the new vector displacement. We might have to try it out just a little bit before we get happy with it. Now these vector displacements run a little lean, so you have to almost turn them up. Okay, I want the build up to be like 50%. Yeah, let's go higher. There we go. Perfect. And you can see they fit together really nice. Okay, let's take a look at them real close. So, see how they're calculating for the inner flap of them. Nice, right? Okay, the other one, and we'll see if we can launch it as a stencil. This is a big stencil, by the way. We'll put that right there. And there we go. We are now fully able to sculpt in rocks. Randomly and then make custom terrain with them. Q. This can be generated into a normal map quite easily. So anyway, this is the vector displacement video. So I hope you enjoy.